hi everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel my name is osereme if today is your first time seeing me thank you so much for being here so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to go about the making of this kimono kaftan dress with side pockets and a slit in front so if this is something you're interested in learning how to make keep on watching and let's get started so guys to make this dress you will need two different fabrics I have my African print here. It's four yards. It doesn't necessarily have to be black and white. And then I have this other fabric here. It's not crepe, but I advise you to get a crepe fabric if you are making yours. So guys, the normal length of your Ankara from one border to the other end is usually around 45 to 46 inches. And now the length that I want this full dress to be is 56. So this is not long enough. So I'm going to be using the longer side of my fabric to cut out this booboo -boo kaftan so i'll be cutting it in the other direction instead of the normal way you fold your fabric from border to border i hope that you guys understand so i'm going to fold it from this end now to the other end till i get to the length that i want it to be so that way you're going to be having a fold on this edge like this so i folded it into two now i'm going to measure from this end here to the end of the fold that i have to check if it's going to be long enough to give me the length i want for my dress so what i have here is enough so i'm going to go ahead now and cut out this point so now after getting the length of this kaftan now this was the first fold now i'm going to fold it in again a second time so this time we folded your fabric into four this time you notice that all the borders will be in one direction okay so now once you're done folding it into four go ahead and iron out your piece Let me take you back to it. so now this folded edge is where we are going to be taking our neckline measurement so i'm going to go in by three inches for my neck width and i'll come down by two inches for the neck depth we are going to be using the neckline for the back to draw out the front and back for now then after this from the center again i'm going to go in by half of my shoulder measurement now from that shoulder point i came out by 12 inches for the length of my sleeve now for the width of my sleeve i don't want this kaftan to be too big at all so i'm just going to be marking it at 10 inches here and i'll connect it to meet the shoulder next you're going to come to the body part so from the center of your fold again you're going to go in by your hip measurement divided by four so i'm going to make the mark here my hip measurement divided by four and from that point i'm adding an extra three inches now if you want your kaftan to be very big you can add about four or five inches depending on how big you want it to be so now from this new point i connected to the armhole and i'm going to connect from this again all the way to the end of the dress so guys this is it we are done drawing out the neckline the sleeve and the body of this dress so I'm going to go ahead now and cut this out. So guys, I'm done cutting it out now. We cut the front and the back together. If you open it up, since there's no opening on the shoulder, you notice that it has like a circle in the neckline area. So you're going to just pick any part to serve as your front part and then the other side will serve as the back. So I just picked this side now and I've arranged it like you see me doing like this. So I arrange everything in a way that the neckline now becomes like a C. So once you're true, the area you have picked to be the front, just go ahead and cut through it just like you see me doing like this from the top to the bottom. So guys after cutting out the front if you arrange the pieces again if you arrange the sleeves like they are supposed to be just like i'm doing now you will notice that it's looking like a kimono so there's an opening in the center here like this so this is what yours should look like so once you have it like this go ahead and fold the sleeve area that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to head over to the sewing machine and fold up the sleeves like this so guys i'm done stitching down the both sleeves this is what it looks like now so now the next thing i'm going to do is to stitch down the side so i'm going to start from the sleeve through to the end i'll do the same thing for the other side as well 
after i was done stitching down my sides this is what i have so you can see what it's looking like now the next thing i'm going to work on is on the pockets for the front so guys for the pocket i went ahead to cut out this fabric i cut out two of it the length currently is nine inches and the width is seven and a half inches so i'll be folding in some part of the width so by the time we are done it will not be that wide now for the uh, red fabric that we are going to be adding to it it's in a fold and when you open up the fold it is three inches long so i made sure to iron it in a fold so that it will be easy for me to work with so now I'll place the band on my pockets like this at the top of my pocket and then go ahead and pin it down like you see me doing like this so i'm going to go over to the sewing machine and make a straight stitch here it should look something like this i will cut off the excess and do the same thing for the other pocket so guys this is what i had after i was done stitching down my pockets we are going to go ahead now and fix this to the dress so go ahead and arrange your dress the front part of your dress and i'm going to measure all the way from the shoulder i decided to place my pocket at 17 inches so i'm marking it here at 17 inches and i'll do the same thing for the other side as well and then from the center i'm, I'm coming in by one inch i'll mark it here and i'll come in by one inch as well on this other side that's where the pocket will start from so i'm going to place the pocket here like this and i'll do the same thing for the other side as well place it like this and then go ahead and fold it in so that it starts exactly on that one inch that you came in by so once you've done this go ahead and pin it down and then continue to pin the pocket all the way around only on the front piece so now i'm going to go over to the sewing machine and make a stitch all the way around here only on the front piece and do the same thing for the other pocket as well after i was done stitching on my pocket this is what i had so now the next thing is for us to work on the neckline now for the neckline remember this piece that we cut away from the front neckline earlier you're going to bring it back and you're going to measure the width so guys as this piece is in a fold it is currently three inches wide so i'm going to go ahead and cut out the neckline for this band with the same three inches and my band would also be in a fold now for the length of your band you're going to measure from one end of the opening in front all the way through to the neckline like this through to the neckline and then through to the other side so when you measure this you're going to use it to cut out the length of the band and for the width like we've measured earlier it's going to be three inches on a fold so i went ahead to cut out this band and you can see it's very long i had to join it at some point for it to be able to give me the length that i want it to be it's three inches on a fold if i open it up you can see what it looks like so now i'm going to go ahead and open up this band like this you can see i folded it up because i need the ghetto line it's going to be helpful when we are stitching the neckline for this so go ahead and fold your fabric into two like this turn the wrong side and then you're going to go ahead and mark your neckline your neck depth so to do this you're going to place a tape around your neckline like i'm demonstrating here and you're going to determine the length you want your neckline to be so when you place it like this you can place it at 22 inches 23 24 25 actually depends on your body size so you want to make sure to also check that when you sew it like this it's going to pass through your neckline before you decide to use the measurement so i decided to use 21 inches and i'm going ahead to divide it into two now from the center of this fold here i'll mark it so whatever you decide to use divide it into two and use it to make a point after that point from the top of this fold here you're going to measure down to where you want your slit to start from so you can take that measurement on your body as well so for me i wanted my slits to start from the 37 inches point so i've made that mark there now and i'm going to go ahead and stitch this down so i'll stitch from this point here to this point so guys i've stitched it down from the point i marked earlier to the other point okay this is what i have so now when you open this up when you fold it up like this into two if you fold it it will automatically become like this so don't worry about how i did it so you notice that you now have a neckline and you have a slit in front so that's just how to go about this so now the neckline and the slits are here already 
I'm going to now go ahead and place this band around the neckline. So you are going to first of all mark the center of the back for your neckline. So I'm going to have to fold this into two for me to be able to mark the center. It is very in, it is very important for you to mark the center of the back neckline because that's where you will start placing your band from. So once you've marked the center, you are going to go ahead and place your band on it like this. Now the center of your band should be pinned exactly with the center of your neckline the center of the band should be pinned exactly with the center of the neckline because um if you don't pin it exactly on the center you will notice that the neckline will be bent the whole um, band in front will not be it will not look normal because you've already drawn out your neckline you've already stitched the neckline so it must be at the center so once you're done pinning it at the center you cannot go ahead and pin the rest of the band to the rest of the body of the dress it's very similar to the way you go about stitching your band to the kimo to your normal kimono the only difference is just that this one is stitched at the middle so i pin it down on one side now i think it's going to be easier to pin it down from the back actually so let's turn this over to the wrong side and continue to pin the band all the way around the opening we have in front first of all the one that is most important starts pinning from the center once you pin down the center every other part is easy just go ahead and pin the band all the way around the open neckline just like you see me doing like this so now i am just going to go over to the sewing machine and start making my stitch making sure that everything is together like this it's just a straight stitch so i'll start from the end and stitch all the way to the top of the neckline through to the other end so guys after i was done stitching it down this is what it looks like i went ahead to search the edges so that it would be very neat you can see what i have here so lastly i went ahead to fold the end of my dress and that's all for the making of this dress. I turned it over and this is what I have in front. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find it helpful and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.